Hi everyone. Um, I know I haven't been making um, some tutorials like I had planned to, but I've been um, dealing with um, an inner ear problem. Um, it developed into vertigo, and I've had it for over a month now. And it seemed like nobody could seem to help me in that area. So um, it was just a couple of days ago that um, I just really got fed up with it, and I went on YouTube. And it was the first video that I found, and she showed an exercise, and I did it that whole day, and it was, the vertigo was totally, uh, has been gone. If any of you have experienced uh, vertigo, uh, there's some wonderful tutorials um, on YouTube about vertigo, and the exercises really do work. So I wanted to explain to you of why I haven't been here. Um, I wanted to show you that uh, this this is Tinkerbell. And yes, she has changed uh, quite a bit. And I'm going to explain to you what I've done. Is uh, First of all, when I made her eyes, the eye color wasn't really... Uh, it came out lighter than what I had planned. And... Uh, when you're not happy with um, your your sculpture, it's very hard, at least for me, to um, sculpt something that I'm just not happy with. So I had to cut out her eyes, and I did. I had to cut through the epoxy and everything, but I did did do it. It's a, it was a lot of work. Probably, um, I would have been better off if I just had started all over. But I just started cutting it out and. And um, just working with it. I think it's good experience. Um, then what I did was I added uh, more clay for her cheeks. Because her face is nice and round. And um, this tutorial here I'm going to be showing you. Um, I think it's an easy technique of um, starting out ears. Um now, I already have uh, these ears on, but I'm going to show you um, how I start the technique, and then um, you can try it, and you'll, you know, it's going to take you um, some time to, you know, like smooth it out and stuff. But I'm going to give you the basic of how I um, start it. So I'm going to set my head aside, and... Um, I've got a ball of clay and the ball of clay is it's going to really determine on the size doll head that you have I really can't tell you exactly the size of the ball because sometimes I'll even get the ball to where it's um, the ears will be too thick but then I just go and I just trim it up or whatever but you just don't want it real real thick okay when I take the ball what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten it just a little bit. Now I'm not making this to where it's going to be paper thin, but I'm, I don't want to make it to where it's real, real thick either. So it's going to be kind of a, a practice and error thing um, if you um, decide to try this. But um, when I was, um, before when I would, would um, do my ears differently, I would always put one ear on and then I would do the other one. And um, a lot of times I just, um, one ear just, just wouldn't come out um, anywhere near the other one. Or, I, I don't know, it was just... It just seemed to me like it was just confusing for me. So um, I sat down one day and I was thinking things out. And this idea came to me. And it doesn't mean that this is for everybody. But um, it works for me, so I thought I would share it. Okay, now what I'm doing is I flattened it out. But um, I'm making it into kind of like a... Like a little squ a square. Now then, um, being that I am on camera and I've got the tripod right in front of me so that it can look straight down on me because I don't have anyone to film it for me. Um, 
I might not be exactly, but you're going to see the technique. And um, hopefully you can take the technique and you can um, make it work for yourself because um, this way uh, it just seemed like it uh, was so much easier and for me it made a lot more sense. Now, my style of um, sculpting, um, if you haven't watched any of my tutorials, I do have two tutorials up, one and two, on how um, I sculpt a face and, a, and, and then the head. I put it together. Um, I do um, sculpting in, in visual uh, shapes. Um, I have a lot of different... Um, little techniques and sometimes I will be doing something and something new will even come to me so it's never really the same but uh, the ears I wanted to share with you okay now what I do is I'm going to divide this in half and let's see if I can Okay, I'm just making a half mark. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take um, just any kind of a tool that um, I'm going to, believe it or not, if you've watched my other tutorials, for some reason, I sculpt a lot with um, the visual of a heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my tool and I'm just going to sketch in a heart and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and hopefully I can get this other side to somewhat match because I'm kind of in an angle here but we'll do the best I can and you'll get the idea. Okay. Let me see if I can... If I bring that up, if that'll be better. Okay. So I have my heart. And I'd like to sculpt that in just a little... Sketch that in a little bit better. Oh, well. Okay, now I'm going to take um, a stylus ball. Um, I'm taking a large one. You don't necessarily have to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make an impression. Now I have a heart with two eyes. That is how I visualized it, you guys. I know it's, it's crazy, but... Okay, now the, in, the, the corners right here, okay, it, they're going to be too um, thick for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that off. And sometimes um, I've... I, I, I didn't even have to do that, but on this one I think I'm going to have to. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a another um, stylist, but it's a little smaller ball, and I'm going to just run that down my first line, and I'm going to bring it down into the hole very very lightly because I just want to make the impression
Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my uh, large ball stylist and I'm just going to lightly take my clay and I'm going to just push it out. Now don't worry about the uh, detail work yet. You just want to basically get the shape of the ear so that you have the two that are pretty close to the same size. That's what I'm really going for right now, not the detail. I'm going to take my um, other stylus, the one that has a little smaller ball to it, and I'm just going to run that right back over it and around into the ear. Then I'm going to take a little brush and I'm going to very lightly get my little pieces of clay out of the way here. And I'm going to take my edges here and I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit. Just pushing it into the ear. Because since I pushed it out, I made it uh, thinner. So now I'm pushing it back in. But just keep in mind that this is going to be the same thickness as this. And then whatever you do on one side, do it on the other side. Now I'm just trying to um, blend that uh, little line in. Then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to now slice it in half. And I'm going to take this little corner up in here and I'm going to cut that out. And I'm going to try to do the same thing on this side. Just taking my edges and I'm still pushing it in towards the ear. Keeping it so that it's um, both sides are the same shape. And I'm um, just going in there and making the, the little cavity. Still trying to blend in that seam there. Thank you. 
and I'll need to slice that again. Okay, you guys, now that is how I start an ear. Now the rest of it is going to be up to you on how you're going to um, detail it. So if I were to detail it, let me push this, um, this one off to the side a little bit. So I can just do the one. Okay, I'm going to take my tool, go into the center of the ear, come around, and remember you want, th want that edge to be um, not real thick, but you don't want it too thin either. Okay, and Take my um, ball stylist and I'm just going to make that little cavity and I'll go back around Okay, now the part that I wanted to uh, explain at this point is this part on the outside of the ear. That is the part that I want enough clay so that when I um, put it um, on my doll head, then what I would do is I would take the clay, let me still move this out of the way so that I can hopefully um, ex show you better what I mean. I would take this area like we'll, we're just going to pretend like um, the ear is placed on the head okay this area right here I would take my tool and I would blend it onto the head this way Okay, then um, you would go back in and you would start uh, refining your work. And you know, dip Depending on what kind of detail that you want for the, the ears, I mean, um, if you really wanted a real realistic um, ear, there's like a Y in here that you can sketch in if you wanted to make it really detailed. But since I was going to make pixie ears, I didn't really care to um, particularly have that. So for the pixie ears, then see what I would do is I would take my clay and I would basically give it that point.
Okay, you guys, that's just the basic. There would be a lot more um, smoothing out and putting in um, more detail work for me, but that is the basic of how I um, will start my ears. And then I don't have to battle with um, one ear being uh, smaller than the other or thicker than the other or whatever. I work with the two the way that I showed you as in the one piece of clay and then drew in the design and then cut it. Um, then you would really just go in there with your uh, little brush. And very, very lightly, always a uh, very, very light touch. Um, I get a lot of um, emails, um, people um, saying, you know, um, I have such a um, masculine uh, looking doll and I want um, a softer look. How do I go about it? The only thing that I can really tell you about that is that it has to do with your touch. Um, to me, sculpting is um, f focus. Uh, focus is very, very important. And um, as I'm doing this, because I've trained myself for, for so long, that if you're first starting out and you're trying to change that style within yourself, um, try to um, get a visual for yourself. Think of something that feels uh, very um, soft and um, uh, tender. Um, like maybe if you were to touch a little baby or, you know, something that was a, a little tiny life of some sort. You wouldn't go in there and you wouldn't just... Um, touch it really really hard you would um, touch it very very softly so that's what I had to keep telling myself or I or I focused that as I am doing this ear it's you know like a little baby's ear and I'm feeling you know how tiny it is and and how the skin is shaped and how it feels and it feels warm and you know you you wouldn't want to pull the baby's ear or anything you just it would be such a soft soft touch and um that will help you get away from the um the masculine um, you, you'll get more of a, a softer look if that's what you're going for because really um, the other way there's there's nothing wrong with that way either but some people um, they they just don't want uh, certain things with themselves so it's a matter of uh, focus uh, finding uh, the picture within yourself that you can relate to um, that will give you that feeling and then hold that focus the whole time that you're working um, with the clay and you'll see it will it'll help you out tremendously and then this part here I wanted to show you this part now this part right here comes in comes around okay and then this will come up in here and then when I attach the ear again I would take my clay and I would smooth it out onto the head but there you go you guys I just wanted to show you um, a technique that I did for myself to make uh, ears a little bit easier for me and I hope that um, you'll give it a try and just have fun and see what you can do with it. Uh, thank you for watching my videos and um, hopefully I can um, start back on my Tinkerbell and get the body going and get some tutorials up for everybody so that we can all have some fun. Uh, have a great day and create every single day. That's what life is all about. Thank you.